Hi, and welcome to the Longevity Learning Lab. Today we're going to look at a brand new Lincoln 140. It's actually called an SP140T. Uh, we're going to do the setup, show you how all the components go together, uh, show you what came in the box, and we're going to weld a little bit with it. Okay, so here's what comes in the box. Here's a roll of 025 mild steel MIG wire, uh, 035 flux core, uh, inner shield they call it. Here's uh, our ground cable, ground cable and here's our ground clamp so we'll have to attach these together. Pressure regulator, liters per minute and uh, cubic feet per, per hour. There's uh, looks like five five tips and a, and a shield cup. Uh, here's an adapter for an 8 inch spool and here's a torch. This is the L100, uh, Lincoln's L100 torch and here's an air supply hose. Here's the front of the machine. Here's our wire speed, our voltage, four presets, A, B, C, D. And here's our Twico connect uh, inside the machine and our four pin adapter, two or four pin adapter on off switch. Here's our connector. It goes right into the into the port here. Make sure it seats all the way in. And then our two pin connector. It's got a guide slot so you got to locate that. And then the collar drives the drives the pin all the way in. The ground clamp and our ground cable came separately so we're just going to put those together. This will go up through that hole there and we'll loosen this. Slide the pigtail on and tighten this back down. We'll tighten this with a wrench so it's snug. This is the other end of our ground cable. We're going to slide it through this hole here and clamp it to either positive or negative terminal depending on what we're welding. This is our electrode wire here that's connected to negative at this time. All right, I've set up the machine with electrode, electrode positive and ground or work negative. This is for mild steel welding. If you want to go to inner shield or flux core, you're going to reverse these two cables. We're going to install wire into the machine now. This is the pivot arm assembly. This is the tension arm and this is the drive roller. Okay, I'm going to install a roll of wire so I'm going to take this wing nut off. This is our brake. It's uh, got a, a locating slot or a, a guide and we're going to take this roll and the roll needs to roll over the top and into the incoming guide, not underneath. Now these are these rolls are under tension so when you open the package this thing is going to unwind and come loose unless you keep some, some tension on with your thumb, a piece of tape, whatever. Keep tension on that. Insert that. Here goes our brake located on the guide and wing nut and we're set. We're going to feed the wire into the machine through this guide but before we do that, I want to take a look at the drive roller. This has a 25 and a 35 on it. Whatever number you're reading is the, is the groove that's being driven. So here we are, 25. That means the 25 slot is being used. Okay. Now we're set. All right, we're going to feed the wire in through the machine. Now the straighter you can get your wire here, uh, it tends to bend with the spool. The straighter you can get it, the better off you're going to be. So we're going to feed it through the incoming guide and right through. Our pivot assembly comes down and the tension arm goes up. This is locked in. Now you can let go of the spool. All right, I want to feed the wire through the machine out to the tip here. I want to, I'm going to take the cup off, take the tip out, 
Turn the machine on. And here we go. You want to hold the wire, the cable, somewhat straight so you don't put any, any twists or, or make it hard for the wire to feed through. I can feel it coming through here now. You can turn the wire speed up if you want to go a little bit faster. There we go. If you have any issue with the drive roller not turning, check this switch here. This runs the, runs the torch and this position runs the spool gun. Well, I want to put the torch back together now. So this is the inner shield flux core tip and this is our regular MIG welding cup. So we want to put an O25 tip back in and screw it in and then put our MIG welding cup on. I've turned the machine around. This is the back. We're going to thread in our air hose or our gas hose. And, and this end we're going to connect into our regulator on our 7525 gas for mild steel MIG. Getting started on our welding as a, as a guide, use this sheet on the door of the welder here to get yourself pretty close on the settings. All right, I'm gonna weld up this 22 gauge strip steel and this 14 gauge mild steel plate. All right, I'm running at 2.5 on the wire speed and my voltage setting is A. This is a little stitch weld. Anything else? And we're just going to burn through the metal. We get full penetration through this metal. This is 22 gauge. There was a little burn through. It's a little left handed pull on fourteen gauge mild steel. You can pull or push. Either way. Here's the short stitch weld on the 22 gauge. This is a MIG weld on the 14 gauge plate. I'm running at 5 on the wire speed and my voltage is C. So I'm set on the voltage but my wire speed can adjust so I can play with this weld a little bit. Watch for part two of this series as we bring out the Longevity MIG Weld 140 and set it up right alongside of the uh, Lincoln SP 140. We're going to look at their capabilities, their differences, and see how they weld.